Hello there, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how can you import multiple PDF files in Excel. Maybe you have multiple PDF files and you want to import data of those PDF files to an Excel so you can use these particular steps. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, if you follow my mouse, I have multiple PDF files here, which are mainly a uh, form and uh, their data is there for certain orders. And uh, if I open another file, you will be able to see the data is uh, different, but the format is same. So I specifically created these order forms using some Word files so that I can show you these particular options. Now I'm opening Excel and let me show you how can you import those files here. So I just opened a new document and here currently I'm in home tab. Uh, you need to go to data. You'll be able to see one option that is get data in the top left corner. Okay, if you click on this little drop down, you'll be able to see multiple different options. What I'll do, I'll go to form file and there I'll be getting one option that is form folder. Now, once I click on that, it will give me a prompt that which folder I would like to select. So I kept this particular data in under downloads folder, supporting materials, PDF files to Excel. So here all my PDFs are there. If I select that and click on open, then it will show me a prompt. Now you can see it's trying to connect and now it came up with this particular prompt. If you see what is showing that name of the file, extension of the file currently, and it's showing me the structure in the folder that how those files are placed and what other things can be imported. Now, if I load from here, what it will do, it will load this particular table. It's not going to load the content of those files. It will only load this directory structure, whatever is there in this particular folder. So, but that's not we are looking for. We are looking for the data to be imported, which are there inside the PDF. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I click on load, what it will do, it will try to connect those files. And you can see it's showing me the file name, file extension, last access modified and the path of those files. But I'm not looking for this thing, right? So let me click on uh, another tab. And if I go to data tab, and if I go to get data again, and if I select the folder and I select the same folder, PDF files to Excel, I'll be able to see the same options again. Okay, now there are certain options here, right? Combine, load, transform data, cancel, right? Uh, cancel, obviously we are not going to select. Transform data, if I click, it will open Power Query. And if you have certain requirements where your data is in a different way, but you want to change some of the things, this particular option of transform data can be used. I'm in process to record another video where I'll extensively talk about Power Query. So this video, let me skip that particular part. And another option is load, which I already shown that will uh, import this particular structure. What I'm going to do, I'm going to select this particular option that is combine. Combine and transform data. Let me click on that and then let me show you what happens next. So once I click on that, it's again trying to query those data from there. And now it will open that particular prompt where all those data will be visible. Now, one thing to observe here, we have selected a folder and inside that five our PDF files are there. So that's why it is showing which file it will uh, maybe consider as a sample file. So it already took the first file. I can select any on of it, but uh, I'll, I'll continue with the fast file because all of my PDFs having the same type of structure, only the data is different. Now you can see it's showing a couple of uh, tables here. The first table is containing name, uh, phone number, email address. And if I click on the second one, this is the data we are looking for. So you can see it's visible here. So what I'll do, I'm fine with this particular view and I'll click on OK. So now it will try to connect and you can see it's processing queries and it's reading all those PDF files separately one by one and then it will come up with the data. Now you can see it's evaluating the query and it's still uh, doing that and now it is opening the Power Query Editor. If you have not seen this particular Power Query Editor earlier, it's maybe in the beginning you'll find it a bit complex, but this is a very, very powerful tool available within Excel which you can use. Now, it is showing different data here and it is showing me the how the data will look like once I'll import the data. You can see it shows file name is visible, which I'm not looking for. 
and item numbers this is a repetition of one two three again one two i don't need it so what i'll do i'll select this particular column which i don't want and i'll remove this particular column uh, let me delete this item number column also so i removed it now i have the data the way i'm looking for right so this is the way i want to import now one benefit of power query is if you by mistake deleted something or took some of the steps which you want to undo then you will be able to uh, do it here if you just click on this cross then last action will be a reward right so i don't want to do that now uh, i just uh, thought of telling you about this particular feature i'm good with this particular data what i'll do once you find it's okay and this data you can work on you can click on close and load what it will do it will load the data in excel and you can see it's getting the data and uh, it's trying to face from all those files you can see all those data items have been now imported here and if i zoom in you can see this is there now another feature this particular data is connected to all those five uh, files and now in case any new data comes into this particular folder that will also be incorporated here it will once it will refresh you will be able to import that so first of all let me show you how can you refresh so once this is there you can see this one little drop down that is refresh if you click on that it will refresh then and there another option is if you right click and go to properties then another option is there you can select a time and minutes uh, in that frequency, this file will try to face the data from that specific folder which you selected earlier. That's one option. Second option is whenever this particular Excel will be opened, it can also try to refresh the data. So if you want in that way, you can just tick these options and then click on OK. I'm not doing it now, uh, but let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me go back to that particular folder. Here I have this particular file, right? So let me copy the last file another time and let me rename this particular file with a different uh, name. So I added the last file and let's see what's there. In this particular file, only one line item cap of uh, 20 quantities and value is 11,000. So if I just minimize that and now I come back to this Excel and if I click on this refresh, now I have 14 rows here, right? Because one heading and remaining 14 are data rows. So if I click on refresh, let's see what happens. You can see another row got added, cap, 20 quantity, 11,000. So this is the way, maybe if you are in a scenario that you get multiple orders in and uh, in PDF files and you're keeping those in a folder, this is the way you can import data from multiple PDF files to one Excel. Hopefully you'll be able to use it. Hope you learned something new today. If you want to watch similar contents, please subscribe to my channel. Also like the video if it helped you in some way. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye for now.